report paints an ugly, violent picture of conditions in our youth correctional facilities. And at issue is the type of punishment used on young people held at our state facilities. Our Denver 7 Sally Mamdu has the latest on this report. We are outside the Philip Gilliam Youth Service Center, which is among the problem correctional facilities mentioned in this report here that the American Civil Liberties Union contributed to. And I just spoke to one of the representatives with ACLU, and they are telling me they are demanding changes take place now. It's almost like a torture device. I mean, you can't move, you can barely breathe. Xavier Long knows too well what it's like to be in the so-called rap suit. He was once in a youth correctional facility and was in a rap suit, one of Colorado's method of disciplining kids held in youth correctional facilities. It constricts your rib cage a lot, so it makes breathing really hard. His testimony is in conjunction with a 33-page report put together by the Colorado Child Safety Coalition detailing violent punishment methods used by youth correctional facilities staff. The kids and staff in Colorado in the youth corrections facilities are in crisis. American Civil Liberties Union of Colorado's Rebecca Wallace, who contributed to the report, says there is a culture of violence in youth correctional facilities around the state that needs to change. She says from 2013 to 2016, there has been a 42 percent increase in fights and assaults and a 108 percent increase in critical incidents. Violence is becoming really out of control in the facilities. The report shows that right now punishment methods used in youth correctional facilities include the wrap, solitary confinement, pain compliance through pressure points, and knee strikes. These are kids who really need treatment, not punishment. The report proposes that Colorado applies the Missouri model, which would eliminate Colorado's current punishment methods. Colorado Human Services oversees the DYC. It released this response saying, quote, while we have concerns with many of the accusations and the inflammatory nature of the report, we largely agree with many of the policy recommendations or have been moving in this direction already. In Denver, Sally Memdu, Denver 7.